Hi all, uh, today I'm just taking up one more question on the request of one of my subscribers who wanted me to solve this question. So here it is. It's a latitude by meridian altitude question for sun as the celestial body. I'll straight away get into the question because I've solved these questions before. I'm sure you've seen a few videos of mine. So the question is that it's 23rd of September 1992 and your dead reckoning or DR position is provided to you. The sextant altitude of the sun's lower limb was uh, 66 degrees 10.6 minutes the index error 2.3 on the arc and the height of i of 10.5 meters is given to you all you have to do is find the latitude and the position line so uh, in uh, questions of latitude by meridian altitude all you have to remember is the position line is always 090 270 degrees or you can also write it as east to west position line all right, so in uh, irrespective of any any celestial body, whether it's sun, moon, stars, or planet, if it's a latitude by meridian altitude question or it's a meridian passage question, the position line is always 090 degrees to 270 degrees. All right, uh, then we find the uh, solution. The rest of the solution is we find the latitude. So to do that, we have to first find the LMT median passage or local mean time of median passage from the nautical almanac. So we go into the nautical almanac. And you can see here for 23rd of September is uh, here, right? 23rd of September 1992 is here. And the meridian passage time, my apologies for that, my is here. So I have to erase this. So the meridian passage time is uh, here, right? And this is uh, for the sun and the meridian passage time column is here. And the day is 23rd of September the local mean time is 11.52 so the local mean time at which the median passage will occur on 23rd of September is 11.52 and that's the time that you will first put here all right to that you will apply your LIT your longitude in time so longitude in time is calculated by dividing longitude by 15 so in this case if you divide 161 degrees 56 minutes by 15 you get 10 hours 47 minutes 44 seconds uh, longitude east GMT is the least that means you subtract LIT from the LMT to get the GMT GMT is less than the LMT all right so longitude east GMT is least GMT is less than LMT uh, so in this case you can see that the GMT meridian passage is still 23rd of September but at 0 1 hours 0 4 minutes and 16 seconds and this is the time you will use to find out the declination of the sun not the LMT but the GMT so you go back into the nautical almanac for 23rd of September for 0 1 hours you find the declination then you find the D value and then based on whether the declination is increasing or decreasing to the next hour going from 1 hours to 2 hours you will add or subtract the correction and this correction you will get for 4 minutes and 16 seconds from the increments page uh, so let's start with that. Alright, so let's start with finding the declination value for 0, 1 hours on 23rd of September. Alright, so again I have to switch this off. So if I can push this out a little bit, uh, 0, 1 hours on 23rd of September. This is 23rd on your extreme left and then 0, 1 hours is here, right? But the sun is somewhere here. That's the declination column. Uh, so your declination is 0 degrees 6.1 minutes south and you can see from 0 1 hours going to 0 2 hours the declination is increasing that means the correction that you will apply will be added uh, the d value at the bottom is 1 all right so this is how we got the values from and then we go back into the not, uh, solution and you can see those are the values i've written down but now I need to find the D correction value for 4 minutes and 16 seconds. So I will go back into the nautical almanac and I will go into the increments page for 4 minutes and 16 seconds. And you can see here, uh, this is 4 minutes, right? And this is your V or D value. Your V or D value was 1 and your correction value for 1 is 0 0.1, which you will be adding to the declination. And that's what we've done we've added 0 0.1 to the declination value to get the declination corrected for 0 1 hours 0 4 minutes and 16 seconds then what we do is we start reducing the sextant altitude to get the 
true altitude so sextant altitude is 66 degrees 10.6 minutes that's given to you in the question itself and uh, to that you apply your index error of minus 2.3 on the arc so you can see here index error on the arc is always subtracted of the arc is always added so you subtract it you get observed altitude of 66 degrees 8.3 minutes to that you apply your height of i or dip so dip is also known as height of i correction height of i is given to you is 10.5 meters so you have to go back to the nautical almanac and you have to go to the height of i page which is normally the first uh, page on your nautical almanac but here i have to find where my my electronic here you go so this is your height of i page for 10.5 meters this is your dip correction so height of i is given here this is a meters column so yours is 10.5 that means it will be between 10.3 and 10.6 no interpolation required the correction is minus 5.7 so just go back and apply this minus 5.7 is the height of i correction uh, height of i correction is always negative it's never added so when you apply that correction it's apparent altitude you get a 66 degrees 2.6 minutes and then to that you have to apply your total correction so total correction will be for the sun's lower limb for the month of september for apparent altitude 66 degrees 2.6 minutes so you will go back to the same page this is the sun total correction september is here between april to september lower limb is here apparent altitude values are here so 66 degrees 2.6 will be somewhere here between 61 50 and 67 15 that is plus 15.5 so lower limb corrections are always positive and upper limb corrections are always negative so you have applied your lower limb correction and you get your true altitude now at this stage you have to name your true altitude which is named same as azimuth what does that mean that means you just have to see where is the sun bearing from you as the observer if you are all projected onto the celestial sphere so to do that just draw a vertical line and mark something called q this q is nothing but the celestial equator or also known as the equinoctial all right with respect to the celestial equator put your dr position so your dr latitude so your dr latitude is 23 degrees 40 minutes north so you will be somewhere here and call yourself z this is zenith this is you on the celestial sphere so this distance is 23 degrees 40 minutes north all right and then with respect to the celestial equator plot the sun's position the sun's position is plotted as per the declination of the sun which is 0 degrees 6.2 minutes south so sun is here this is 0 degrees 6.2 minutes south so the sun is bearing south from you this is sun so sun is bearing south from you so therefore you will name the true altitude same as azimuth same as bearing you will name it south once you get your true altitude subtract it from 90 degrees all right subtract the smaller number from the bigger number and you get your meridional zenith distance as 23 degrees 41.9 minutes okay so 90 minus 66 degrees 18.1 is 23 degrees 41.9 minutes and you will name it north because it is named opposite to the true altitude so your true altitude was south opposite of south is north okay to that you apply your declination the one that you've corrected before so your declination from the top comes down here and the rule is if there are different names such as north and south you will subtract one from the other if they were same names if they were both north or both south you would have added the two so you will subtract the smaller number from the bigger number and you get your observed latitude that's the answer and you name the latitude based on the value of the larger so in this case your mzd was larger and it was north so you will name your latitude north all right and then again i told you before the position line is east west or 090 to 270 that's because you the sun is bearing exactly south of you and the position line is drawn always perpendicular to the bearing so in this case the position line is again 090 to 270 degrees and that's why since in meridian passage questions the body is always bearing either due north or due south of us the position and drawn perpendicular to the bearing is always 090 to 270 degrees all right so i have solved previous similar questions before 
but I took up this question on the request of one of my subscribers. I hope you find this useful as well. Keep practicing these questions because uh, there's always a scope of error in the exam. All right, guys, I'll see you soon with my next video. Bye.